everybody, welcome back. So I've been getting just a ton of great comments and, and questions uh, about the cam re relief grinding. And I thought I'd make some shorter videos just answering people's questions and trying to make some of these things clear. So today, the question, the, the topic we're going to discuss is how do I determine how to dial my relief grinder in for a specific uh, tool? To demonstrate this, I've got two different diameters of material here that we're going to use to represent how you would dial in uh, the clearance on it, the relief on a cutting tool. So this is 5 16ths and this is 1 inch. Now, when it comes to this cammed relief, you only care about what's happening in the first little bit. And I'm using this marker line here to represent uh, this edge of the marker line would be the cutting edge and the width of the marker line is all I really care about because that's where the amount of relief matters. So here I'm at uh, my pretend cutting edge, which is the upper side of this marker line. And as I rotate through to the bottom side, you can see I've got three thou of uh, relief registering on my dial indicator. Over that 30 second of an inch or so of uh, marker line width, um, to get that to be three thou worth of clearance, the machine, as you can see, is running a total of about 20 thou relief per um, cycle. Now without adjusting the relief settings on the machine at all, I'm going to put the one inch piece in. We're going to run the dial again from our pretend cutting edge uh, to the, the back of where we care about and we'll see what amount of relief is going to be put onto a one inch diameter piece. I'm at my pretend cutting edge and I'm going back to the other side of my marker and you can see the, the dial has traveled much less. I'm going to crank up my radial uh, adjustment here. I'm going to keep going until I get uh, a reading of 3 thou across that thin 30 thou or so thick marker line. You can see here now that this dial is traveling 60 thou. So basically what we're looking at is it, to get the proper amount of relief I wanted on a 5 16 diameter piece, the total throw of the machine was 20 thou. And to get the same relief over the same 32nd of an inch distance on a bigger diameter piece, the total throw had to be 60 thou. So basically the moral of the story is when it comes to radial relief specifically, the relief you dial into the machine is completely dependent on the diameter of your workpiece. And just a general rule of thumb, you, you care about what relief is happening over that 32nd of an inch of, of travel, regardless of the diameter. And for most tools, three to five thou over that distance is gonna be just about right. Of course, too little and it won't cut uh, cleanly and freely. Uh, too much clearance and it'll cut very freely, but it'll be a very delicate and weak cutting edge. So again, over approximately that 32nd of an inch, you want three to five thou clearance regardless of the diameter of your tool. Thanks for watching this quick little video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out uh, with more of these because I've had a lot more excellent questions from you guys and I'm just going to uh, blast out a bunch of these quick little videos answering some questions and that way I'm thinking the answers to these questions can make it to more people than just the person that asked the question.